Welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I show you how to make the mini puffs in Blender from the movie Ghostbusters Afterlife. The first thing we're gonna do is we drop in the blueprint, rotate it 90 degree along the x-axis, and place it behind the cube. The cube we don't delete, we select and then we can move the blueprint a little bit more back sides and then we select the cube again and adding a subdivision surface modifier and then we go to edit mode and in the wireframe mode we select the vertices here on top and scale them down along the x-axis and move it down along the z-axis. Control R, we make a new loop in the middle, select the vertices on the bottom and scale them down along the x-axis. And another one here in the middle, select the vertices on top. And same thing we do here, vertices on the bottom. Have a look there, go to side view. We select everything and scale it down along the y-axis. We scale the top here, a little bit the middle and outside here along the x-axis and along the y-axis. Then we select everything, scale it down along the y-axis. And let's go back here in wireframe mode so we can scale a little bit more up along the x-axis. Select this part here, scale it up a little bit and select the vertices here in the middle. Looks much better. And then we go to the face select mode. Select the face here, Shift D, Duplicate and P, Selection, Separate the Part. Go to Object Mode, select the separated part and then back to Edit Mode. Adding a Mirror Modifier and now we build the arms. Select everything and rotate a little bit. So like that. Then we go to side view, select the vertices here and scale them a little bit along the y-axis, select everything and place the arms over here. Rotate, scale. And set which with control R another loop here in the middle and then we scale down this part here. Shift D duplicate P selection separate same thing. Now we get the lower arm and now we build the lower arm. And we select this part here, Shift D, Duplicate, P Selection, Separate. Now we make the hand.
from different objects we create now the cap. And then we want to sculpt the hand, fingers and the head. And the first thing now is we have to separate the fingers. You can see here they're connected. So we go back to edit mode, select and P, selection. And now we have selected the thumb from the other finger. And then with the bool tool we connect the fingers and hand. I already got it. Go to preferences if you don't have it and look for bool tool. You can see here I got a check and can close it or you can have a look. It is have auto save is activated and then you can use it, okay? Select hand, select finger and click on union. You can see we get thumb and the hand. Now we select finger, each finger and hand. Click on Union. Now you can see here we got one object and also at the other side. And then we select the head and apply the subdivision surface modifier. Then we go to Auto Smooth and we can do the same thing with every object. And then we can change the blueprint a little bit here. Just move it a little bit on the side and go to sculpt mode. And now we start sculpting the face. Activate the dynamic topology and with clay strips we can start.
is not too complicated. So we have to sculpt only the head, face and hand and fingers. And I forgot to sculpt the right hand because I forgot to activate the X mirror. You can see here. Now we get only the left hand. But don't worry, we can fix this very easy. You can see here, no X mirror is activated. So what we can do now is we choose another brush here. Not the mask brush. We choose the box mask brush. And then we select this area here or the complete object. And now we go here direction plus x to negative x. And symmetrize. I can see how easy it is to fix this. And then go to mask and clear mask. If you found this tutorial was helpful then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you, bye!